the right to information bill is so dear to you know all of us practitioners you know particularly those really you know in, in, in the key of things so um, we'll be looking forward to this meeting and looking forward to the engagement so that we can all come on the same page as far as this you know very important act is concerned and how we can assess it and you know use it for the betterment of the nation Ghana so um, you're welcome once again um, I will not speak much I'll leave the floor to you and once you are done if we do have some comments to do we will share them with you so um, by way of introduction the right information commission it's established under the act um, it's supposed to be more of a regulator a promoter uh, an enforcer of the law and also uh, to check in terms of monitoring on how the law is being implemented so that is basically the object of the commission and um, we have been appointed to see to it that the commission is properly set up and properly run to 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 ensure that the law is implemented as it is in because it is a new law it's obvious that um, we are all struggling to see how it should function but we need the cooperation and contribution of all practitioners in terms of your space to be able to make sure that the implementation goes smoothly. It will also mean that from the demand side and the supply side, we all activate all the processes of the law to ensure that um, the gray areas that may come up will be um, will help us to shape the law in the uh, in terms of its implementation. So that's why we actually came to engage you. There's a lot of public education that also has to be done for this law to actually um, come to stay with us. And uh, you have the platforms. So we are also appealing to you by way of this meeting that you give some prominence to the Right to Information Act so that if you can dedicate some of your platforms to some public ed education. I know you run graphic as a business, yes, but um, when it comes to what will help to improve the uh, dissemination of information of this uh, democracy, I think that you have a public duty to do some pro bono work. So in your spirit of pro bono work, you should consider the right information commission and what we do. Um, we don't intend to bore you with what is in the law, but I think that as we have met to engage, we can do some questioning and then answers so that we can help understand how the commission will be operating and uh, to the extent to which we are open to the general public and we can be accessible. So we will not talk much, we will just allow for questioning and then answers. It's, it should be more interactive. Yes. yes. Thank you very much. Yeah, I, I think that is very good. And so far, how has it been, you know, putting up the commission and getting your work, you know, your messages across, how has it been? Yeah, so um, <coughs> without an office, we have been operating for <coughs> remotely, but we are engaged in some uh, space that has been useful so far. We were sworn into office in um, October 2019. And then since then, we have 2020, yes, last year. And since then, we have been engaging public institutions to help us set up. You know, this is a public institution. So in as much as it's a commission, we must conform to the standards of the public service. Yes, and there are processes that you need to undertake to even recruit your own staff. So far, we are about 85% at the point where we can recruit our own staff and start running the commission properly. But remotely, we have tried to reach out to the public by publishing in your newspapers. We have published a few statements here and there, giving them an email link where they can easily make complaints to us and where we can engage. Mm. So we have had some complaints so far filed. We are investigating, eventually we'll come up with some of the decisions that will help the course of implementation. Yeah, I think so far um, the commission is 
twice to wow. begin full operation soon. We have an office now at uh, number four, Osu Badu uh, Link, Airport West, Airport West Accra, Ojo, if you call it. Yes. So there's an office, it's under renovation, almost done. We'll be, we'll be finishing and then we will announce the presence. We invite you all to uh, grace the occasion, know where we are and how we can assist you um, access the information. Mm. Yes, so, so far, so good. Mm -hmm. so, so given the timelines, where are we? Are you able to speak to the fact that probably within the next two months, three months, we'll be fully operational? By the, in fact, we are fully operational, mm. as I speak, mm. except that we are yet to occupy our office fully. So we are fully operational. Every, at every uh, aspect of the law that you seek, to engage on. We are open to engage. We've started some programs on GBC, some programs on uh, multimedia platforms. Yes, so we are open mm -hmm. for every engagement. Mm -hmm. So we are operational. Mm -hmm. Yes, we have also, there's a duty on uh, public institutions to set up information offices mm -hmm. to be run by an information officer. Mm -hmm. We are uh, in league with the implementation body of the Ministry of Information to ensure that all these uh, public setups are done so that people can properly access information. Mm. I, I see your role. You've mentioned regulator, promoter, enforcer. You are also checking and monitoring. Yeah. So how ready really are you to do all these things? I'm asking this question in view of the fact that you know even our National Media Commission yes. is also they do basically th the same. No, they don't. No, no, not <laughs> in terms of this, but okay. in terms of the media, okay. they also are regulators. Okay. So, so, but you can see that you know it's not coming that easy. Yes. Yeah, so and therefore, you being a new, you know, a commission, a new yeah. body. So we are not just for the media. We are for everybody. Um, information should be accessible by everyone. It could be foreigners, it could be citizens. It's not just meant for Ghanaians. So anybody who wants to access information. So we are not just limited to the media. No, I'm talking about your rule. In terms of... In terms of regulating, regulating. promoting, enforcing, yes. monitoring. Good. So How yeah. effectively are you going to discharge this constitutional mandate? Yes, yeah. so um, we have had um, clearance from the Public Service Commission, for instance, to recruit at an initial level some 363 staff from the first year. Mm -hmm. And it is not supposed to be just for the center. We are going to do it at regional levels as well. Unfortunately, the National Media Commission, I don't know whether they do have regional offices across the country, mm -hmm. but we as a commission mm -hmm. have gone that extra mile mm -hmm. to put together plans for regional offices and in the long term have district offices. Mm -hmm. So we seek to extend across the country and to reach as many citizens as possible. Yes, that's the best way we can uh, ensure that um, the law is applicable at every level.